Good, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're coming from. Hello, everybody. I picked the woodpecker this week because I read something on social media about the woodpecker and decided I wanted to research it and found out that the woodpecker pecks at least 20 times a second when it's at a tree. And they often compare the impact of a woodpecker's beak into the tree um, with two football players, and that this is way more impact than two football players. So how does the woodpecker stay alive? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Um, we also know that the woodpecker has a really strong tail. So when we see it upright on the tree, the, the tail feathers are really helping to balance it. It has special toes that most birds don't have, two in the front and two in the back. And um, some really interesting other things about the woodpecker is that it has nostrils that are kind of furry and covered up with feathers because there's dust flying and there's splinters everywhere. And God has prepared a way to protect that woodpecker uh, during all of his work. The beak is also really, really strong and really sharp. And it stays that way because it has special cells on it that regenerate kind of like a uh, the tail of a chameleon, and it regenerates a new beak um, with every use or when it gets dull, which is also pretty amazing. Probably what the woodpecker is known for, if you do a little bit of research, is its tongue. And we don't see this because it goes so fast and it's hard to catch a woodpecker that we don't see it unless we look at a photograph. So the tongue is really, really long, and it helps certainly once they've made the hole to reach in there and to grab the insect, to grab the bug that they're after. And um, if you look at that picture that I put right there above the woodpecker's head, the tongue has little barbs on the end. And so some of it has, some woodpeckers have like a sticky substance and some, when they reach in, they just grab that kind of like a fishing hook and they pull that back out. I mean, the detail that God used to create this amazing creature. One of the other things we know about the tongue, and this is what caused me to research it, is that it acts as a shock absorber of sorts for that woodpecker pecking so hard, you would think he would be, you know, a head injury, he would not have a brain or she, and God has made a provision for that. Take a look at this. So the tongue, this really long tongue, um, goes all the way around the back of the bird's head, the brain, and the, the beginnings of that tongue are down into the nostril. It's just seated down in there. I don't know how it stays hooked in. And I don't know if it's like a tendon. I mean, it's a tongue, but it comes back around the back of the head and up through that beak. And you can see the barb here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think so. Um, yeah. I couldn't help but think about the way that God protects us. And I have been studying about the, the helmet, the armor of God, the helmet. We call it the helmet of salvation. And there's no doubt that if God is going to help a woodpecker protect his head, um, keep him in existence and keep him doing what he does, that he's gonna do that for us too. And I thought it was funny when I researched the helmet of salvation, they all had this, plume of feathers at the top. And I was like, isn't that crazy? It's red like a woodpecker's head. And God protects us, Ephesians says, with this helmet against our spiritual struggles in this world. If you don't know about the helmet of salvation, look it up. It's in Ephesians. If you um, do know about it, you might research a little more. Think on it. What does it mean? And no doubt, God has our best interest at heart if he has the interest of the woodpecker at heart too. Have a great week, everybody.